In the vast expanse of modern military aviation, where speed, stealth, and advanced technology define superiority, one aircraft has quietly emerged as the future of American air dominance, the B-21 Raider. A symbol of 21st century warfare, the B-21 is not just another bomber. It's a revolutionary stealth platform, purpose-built to dominate the skies in tomorrow's conflicts. Developed by Northrop Grumman for the United States Air Force, the B-21 Raider is designed to replace both the aging B-1B Lancer and the B-2 Spirit in the U.S. bomber fleet. But the B-21 is far more than a replacement. It represents a leap into a new era of warfare, one dominated by long-range, precision strike capabilities, survivability in contested environments, and a seamless blend of stealth, sensors, and artificial intelligence. The B-21 Raider is the first bomber of the sixth generation. While its predecessors relied heavily on brute force or limited stealth, the B-21 is conceived to operate deep within enemy territory, evading sophisticated radar and integrated air defense systems. In a world where threats are becoming more advanced, the B-21 is America's answer to emerging rivals like China and Russia. Its name pays homage to the Doolittle Raiders of World War II, a group of 80 American airmen who launched a daring bombing raid over Tokyo in 1942. That mission was a turning point in the war, a message that the United States would not back down. The B-21 carries that same spirit of innovation, audacity, and strategic dominance. From its inception, the B-21 was shrouded in secrecy. The U.S. Air Force deliberately kept its development under wraps to prevent adversaries from copying or countering its design. However, what has emerged in public reveals an aircraft that embodies the pinnacle of stealth technology. At first glance, the B-21 resembles the B-2 Spirit, a flying wing design with smooth, seamless surfaces and a lack of traditional tail fins. But this similarity is deceptive. Beneath the surface, the B-21 is a completely new aircraft. It features a smaller size, improved stealth materials, advanced computing systems, and a modular open systems architecture that allows for rapid upgrades and adaptability. One of the most important features of the B-21 is its stealth. Unlike fourth or even fifth generation aircraft, the B-21 is built from the ground up to defeat modern air defense systems. It uses radar-absorbent materials, reduced heat signature, and electronic emission control to avoid detection. Its shape is optimized to scatter radar waves, making it nearly invisible to enemy radar even at relatively short distances. Stealth is not just about being invisible, it's about controlling the electromagnetic spectrum. The B-21 incorporates next-gen electronic warfare capabilities that allow it to jam, deceive, or completely bypass enemy sensors. Whether it's penetrating an advanced integrated air defense network or silently loitering near enemy territory, the B-21 has the tools to remain undetected. Another major innovation in the B-21 Raider is its payload versatility. It is designed to carry both conventional and nuclear weapons, including precision-guided bombs, cruise missiles, and potentially hypersonic weapons in the future. Its internal bomb bays keep weapons concealed to preserve stealth, and its long range ensures it can strike targets across continents without needing forward bases. The B-21 is also designed with a digital first approach. Unlike previous bombers, the Raider incorporates an open systems architecture. This means its software and hardware can be upgraded quickly as technology evolves. New sensors, communication systems, weapons, or countermeasures can be integrated without redesigning the entire aircraft. In essence, the B-21 is not a static platform, it's a flying software-defined weapon system. This allows it to stay ahead of adversaries who are constantly developing new air defense systems and anti-access strategies. It ensures the B-21 remains viable not just today, but decades into the future. Automation and artificial intelligence also play a key role. While the B-21 will be crewed initially, it has the potential to fly autonomously or semi-autonomously. 
Future missions could see the B-21 accompanied by drone wingmen, acting as a command node in a larger network of unmanned systems. This opens the door to entirely new tactics and operational concepts. The aircraft's long-range capability is another strategic advantage. It can strike targets anywhere on the globe without relying on vulnerable overseas bases. This means in a conflict with a near-peer adversary like China or Russia, the B-21 can operate from the continental United States, maintaining strategic reach while minimizing risk. Northrop Grumman, the primary contractor, has emphasized digital engineering in the development of the B-21. The use of digital twins, advanced modeling, and simulation has allowed engineers to test and optimize the aircraft's systems before the first prototype even flew. This has significantly reduced risk, cost, and development time, a major departure from past programs plagued by delays. The cost of each B-21 is estimated to be around $700 million, though that number may vary depending on the final configuration and production scale. The U.S. Air Force plans to acquire at least 100 B-21 Raiders, but some analysts believe the number could go as high as 145 or more, depending on global threats and the longevity of legacy bombers. When it comes to survivability, the B-21 is designed with the future battlefield in mind. Unlike earlier aircraft that required air superiority before penetrating enemy airspace, the Raider is built to operate in contested environments from day one. This includes facing advanced surface-to-air missiles, enemy fighters, and electronic warfare threats. It is a cornerstone of what the U.S. military calls the long-range strike mission, the ability to project power at extreme distances without relying on local air bases, which may be compromised in the early stages of a conflict. The B-21 enables the U.S. to hold any target at risk, anywhere in the world, at any time. Another key aspect of the B-21 is its maintainability. The B-2, while a stealth marvel, was notoriously difficult and expensive to maintain due to its delicate coating and complex systems. Lessons learned from the B-2 have directly informed the B-21's design. The Raider is built with maintainability and mission readiness in mind, reducing costs and increasing sortie rates. On December 2, 2022, the B-21 Raider was officially unveiled to the public in a carefully choreographed ceremony. It was the first time a new U.S. bomber had been revealed in over 30 years. The rollout was symbolic, a message to the world that the United States remains committed to strategic deterrence and technological superiority. The B-21 is currently undergoing ground and flight testing at Edwards Air Force Base in California. Initial reports suggest that the aircraft is performing well, and the program remains on schedule. If successful, the B-21 will enter operational service in the late 2020s, with full deployment expected in the 2030s. Its deployment will mark a generational shift in air power. The Raider will eventually replace the B-1 and B-2 bombers, while complementing the aging B-52 Stratofortress, which continues to fly due to its adaptability. This trio, B-52, B-21, and eventually unmanned systems, will define the future of American strategic bombing. But, beyond its technical capabilities, the B-21 represents a broader vision. It's about deterrence through strength, maintaining peace by being prepared for war. In a world of rising tensions, nuclear posturing, and regional conflicts, the B-21 is a clear signal that the United States is investing in tools to protect global stability. From the Pacific to Europe, from the Middle East to cyberspace, the B-21 gives U.S. commanders unmatched flexibility. It can strike in the opening hours of a war, degrade enemy defenses, and hold leadership and infrastructure targets at risk, all without warning and often without detection. Its role won't be limited to nuclear or strategic missions. The B-21 is designed to perform conventional precision strikes, intelligence gathering, and even electronic attack missions. It is a true multi-role bomber, one capable of adapting to any mission profile. The B-21 also plays a vital role in the emerging concept of joint all-domain operations, a military strategy that integrates air, land, sea, space, and cyber domains. As a stealthy, networked, and highly survivable asset, the B-21 serves as a critical node in this future battlefield architecture. Its ability to collect data, communicate with other platforms, and make autonomous decisions will be crucial in complex, high-speed conflicts. 
In essence, the B-21 is not just a bomber, it's a flying sensor, a battle manager, and a strike platform all in one. In the years to come, as geopolitics continue to shift and the threat landscape evolves, the B-21 Raider will serve as a deterrent against aggression, a tool of power projection, and a guarantee of US military dominance. Its presence will force adversaries to think twice before challenging American interests or those of its allies. As the world watches the rise of new powers, the return of great power competition, and the rapid evolution of technology, one aircraft stands at the forefront of the next era of air warfare, quiet, deadly, and invisible. The B-21 Raider is not just the future of bombing, it's the future of strategic deterrence. And that future is already taking flight.